introduce these two players. I don't think I got an invite. Are you not in the game? No. Oh, okay. That is that is fine. We will just keep going anyway. So I will introduce these two players spawning down in the bottom left position. We have got the blue Protoss player from Team XMG. It is the Premier League cast himself. Currently 1-1 one, one in this series. It's Todd. And his opponent spawning down in the bottom right. The Zerg player from Team VP BenQ. It's Slivko. So, Nathanius, this is this is going to be rather fun for me. Going to do a little of the Yodi solo casting. All right. I think I think it's, I, I can't if I can't uh, see it's probably best I set this one out, Maddles. Can you see the Can you see the preview screen? Uh no. Okay. So unfortunately, you're not going to be able to see this, which means that it is all down to me. I'm doing the obsidian as well, which is always fun to do. But for the moment, we see that a spawning point has gone down very happily here for Slivko. Meanwhile, a drone just coming to go and take that hatchery. All very normal timing. Todd, on the other hand, he's getting up his gateway. He's got his gas going for a gateway expand, just like he did in game one, which to me makes a lot of sense. Because let's face it, if you are already sitting in a situation where you are, you were one game up, you then switched it up to go to a Forge Fast Expand on Whirlwind, you then lost that game, why not go back to what works? And there is some interesting things you can do on this map as well. So we keep an eye out for what Todd, whether he goes for a Stargate, it is always an, quite an obvious choice when you are in on this map and there's the dead space between the two bases. Alternatively though, he may expect that Slivko will react to that and expect that and change it up a bit. Slivko is taking his gas before he takes a third base. So kind of preempting the fact that obviously Todd likely to be going for that gateway expand and will identify that with the Overlord coming in here now. The Nexus is on its way here though for Todd and everything's going pretty standard for him. He's getting his mothership core down at a really nice time. So we'll start banking up the energy, getting ready to go for those photon overcharges, getting ready for the time warps and the mass recall if he does decide to start pushing across. But the tech choice for Todd is what I'm really looking out for. The mothership making its way down now so that's all fine not it could potentially come across and have a little poke and a little scout out but it would be quite risky better just to keep it back and check that there's nothing in the watchtower take a look for anything to surprise and coming but be ready to come back so for the moment on a slivko side he's got four zerglings on their way out he is pulling the drones out of gas as he gets a hundred ready to start zergling speed and there we go it is getting started up we've got a couple more zerglings on their way out and 12 in total now this is a really quite substantial push 14 now queued up the wall off for Todd is on its way, but he doesn't have a cannon. Of course, there is no forge down on the field. The Zealot is now going to complete this wall off. But there is a lot of Zerglings about to come running across, and he's hiding the vast majority of them just to make sure that this Mothership Corps will not be able to see them until the last moment. He needs speed out. He's sending just two Lings up and in to take a look at this wall off. Go, okay, so you've got the two gateways there, the two pylons, and the Zealot making it. Meanwhile, 16 more Zerglings coming in. This is going to be potentially a very quick game as Slivko is committing a huge amount to this. The Mothership Corps is about to come up and scout out that the third base has not yet been started. This is the really a media point where actually some warning bells are going to be going off for Todd that hang on okay still no third base okay not crazy because he could have just been waiting to see whether I went for a gateway expand but now he's going to see a lot of these zerglings here and this is where the warning signs really will kick in we've got the zealot and the stalker there Warpgate tech is not quite done. Another 30 in-game seconds till that's completed. But a second pylon being added on here to this wall off just to create a little bit of a tighter choke, preventing that Zella going down quickly. The Mothership Corps sees all of these Zerglings coming along. Speed is just about to kick in, and this is where all of the pressure starts applying. And the big thing to note as well is that Slivko, he is committing so much to this push. He's only got 18 drones behind this. The first two speedlings are starting to do some damage, but Todd, he's taking no chances. He knows if he holds this, he'll be in a good position. Warpgate tech is now finished. He's getting up more forges. He's getting up more gateways just to really double, triple wall off. The Zerglings are trying to attack in through here. More cannons, more pylons, uh, more pylons on their way. And, well, sentries are there. Force fields can go down any second. Just completing this wall off once more with more pylons. But Zerglings have managed to breach through. There is the force Field, and Todd just needs to keep this up. The warp gates are getting focused down. One is about to fall and a warp in should be able to go down but doesn't quite get it in time there. More Zerglings on their way over. There is enough energy for a Photon Overcharge. It is getting triggered here. Todd is holding on for dear life and if he holds this he'll be in such a good position. The wall off being maintained by these force fields, by these buildings. There's not enough room for these Zerglings to get in and Todd has managed to defend this. 
This is so good for him. He's up to 32 probes to just 18 drones. More buildings getting made just to make sure this wall up stays. But no, there's the force field miss. Navin's feelings have managed to make their way up into the main base. This is such a problematic situation now for Todd. He's going to have to pull all of these probes back. He needs to deal with this. But there aren't any more Zerglings other than the ones streaming across. Behind the Slipco has transitioned back into going for drones now. He's just following up with one more wave of Zerglings. The Zealot is completing the wall off. He's got the Zerglings that are already in the main base. But the additional drones will just help him start coming back into this because he has done a little bit of damage now but only killing four workers in total there really could be a couple more another force will being used because the Zella was about to go down photon overcharge finished but the Zerglings in the main have been cleaned up bar three which is just working away at the natural base doing a little more damage the worker count now 30 to 29 in Slivko's favor so as long as he keeps droning now that did just enough damage to kind of level things out but the big problem is that Slivko has not taken a third throughout this that means his production is low he's on equal basis as Todd and Todd has also got his plus one ground weapons nearly finished he's in a nice tech position the only tech actually out on the field at the moment for Slivko is speed that is it and he is getting some additional gases I'm expecting to see a Rotoron get started up soon he needs to decide whether he's going to continue this pressure or take a third base very quickly and if he doesn't then he's just going to put on the pain and judging by this lair he wants to try and hold off for Todd he's going to go for the counter attack he's probably feeling in a relatively confident position here just knowing that Slivko clearly won't have very much behind this three spine crawlers getting made ready to try and defend this and Zergling's on their way through the units out on the field there was only one Zergling down at the moment two more on the way the lava are there but Slivko just doesn't have the money to utilize all of them for the time being he needs these spine crawlers to get up but if Todd makes this push across quickly he's gonna be very happy there's an overlord gonna get killed by these two sentries as well that in itself is very frustrating and yeah as we can see here spine crawlers they are not going to be done in time. There's an hallucinated Archons coming into this mix as well. Spine Call is trying to get taken down. A proxy pylon getting placed at the natural base of Slivko. All of these spines are getting taken out. And Slivko just leaves 